Good morning. My name is Roanne Sexton, and we're here again with Dr. Harvey White of Vessel Health. Good morning, Dr. White. Roanne, it's great to have you here. Thank and you. I understand that you're a nurse. Is that correct? I am a nurse. I'm a registered nurse. I've been a nurse for a long time. And you've also been in healthcare. Absolutely, I've been in healthcare management for about 15 years. I've been a nurse for about 25 years. You know, it's super to have you here on the show because, in fact, we've been talking about health and cardiovascular health. And this is an issue that affects women as much as men. And as I mentioned on another show, it's affecting women more today than it was even previously. So I, I, I'm sure you'll listen closely, but I'm hopeful that the audience will very much be listening to the kind of things we have to talk about today. I understand today that we're going to talk about atherosclerotic disease. Is that correct? That's correct, Roanne. And what we're going to be doing today is talking for a few minutes about how we determine whether or not an individual has a problem with their blood vessels. Because you know, most of the work we've done in prevention has been in the area of what we call secondary prevention, mm -hmm. Rowan, and that mm -hmm. has to do with taking care of individuals after they've had a heart attack or after they've had a stroke. I but understand. at Vessel Health, we're very interested in whether or not a person has a problem before one of those events. Oh, that's very exciting. Preventative it health. It is, it's preventative. So what do we do? We try with an individual that comes in the door and engages us to foremost, in, in the very beginning you might say, after a bit of an interview and discussion, to determine whether or not they have any atherosclerosis or blockages in their blood vessels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we try to do that with non-invasive testing. Mm -hmm. What is a method that you would use in this regard? Well, I have a little chart, if you don't mind me bringing it out. And oh, it, excellent. It, it, may excellent. Ex it may help explain some of these things. But I'd like to talk about three things that we do with an individual who comes to Vessel Health. The first thing we do in trying to assess atherosclerosis or arteriosclerosis is what we call a carotid ultrasound. That's an ultrasound of the blood vessel that goes to the neck. Mm -hmm. And if you'll bear with me, sure. on this picture at the top, I have a graphic of a carotid artery, and it begins mm -hmm. with what they call the common carotid artery, mm -hmm. and then divides, as I've mentioned, into the internal to the mm -hmm. brain, external to the face. Mm -hmm. And what we do is an ultrasound that measures the thickness of the lining of that particular blood vessel. Mm -hmm. And we know in different age groups that that thickness increases. Sure. So we can, for instance, with you, measure that amount of uh, of, of a material, you might say, in there, and determine whether or not it's more than we would expect for someone of that age. And hence, we can tell you, using this test, whether or not you are aging prematurely as regards your blood vessels. I see. So there's a, a level of predictability there in is. this test. There is. Right. There is. This is not as commonly used as you would might think, but increasingly in research, and here at Vessel Health, we use this particular technique. And Roanne, there's another technology I'd like to tell you about a bit that helps us determine whether a person has atherosclerosis. Oh, that's wonderful. And that has to do with a CAT scan of the heart. A CAT scan is an x-ray of the heart that divides the heart in sections mm -hmm. and takes these x-rays and adds them up to look at the coronary arteries. Mm -hmm. And this picture I have at the bottom, which is a little bit rudimentary, what I'd like to display is that the heart sits inside its three main feeder vessels or coronary arteries mm -hmm. and they're on the exterior of the mm -hmm. heart they come off the aorta sure and what you can do with this particular technology called a coronary calcium score mm -hmm. is take these x-rays of the heart and look for calcium mm -hmm. or hardening of the blood vessels mm -hmm. and as people age or as time goes on cholesterol plaque in the heart arteries becomes hardened mm -hmm. through oxidation, a sure. rust. Sure. And I've drawn in this picture these red dots, coronary calcium. And what one can do is actually score the coronary calcium to know how much that is. So in an individual, just like scoring the carotid artery, mm -hmm. we can get a score of atherosclerotic burden ranging from zero to a heck of a lot. I understand. Now, what, what happens if you send someone like me, for example, uh, to obtain a CAT scan of the heart, and let's say it comes back and I have a not good calcium score, what would you do? Well, that, you know, that brings me to a third leg of the stool that we use when we uh, evaluate a person, mm -hmm. and that is a fitness test. Mm -hmm. So very often, 
to supplement or add to this, we would do an exercise test mm -hmm. on a treadmill mm -hmm. where a person walks for a period of time, mm -hmm. monitored, looking at their heartbeat, heart rate, etc., blood pressure, to determine whether or not these blockages may be causing problems. Oh, I see. And that, those three things are the essence of what we do at Vessel Health. Thank you.